guys and welcome back to my channel in today's tutorial i'll be learning how to sew this beautiful gown with bolero jacket if this is what you like to learn kindly stay tuned please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and please give this video a thumbs up so i have a video on how to draft the style i will drop the link in the description box below so yeah i am cutting out the that area of my pattern so I can have my center front and the side front. Just watch what I'll be doing. So don't forget to take out all the contoured area. And um, don't forget to label and blend every necessary part. So this is my front pattern. So I'll go ahead and bring out the remaining part I traced out. That's the bolero jacket and the lapel I traced out itself. So I'll also go ahead and cut all of it. I'll be leaving half an inch allowance all around. And um, for the bolero jacket, I'll also be leaving half an inch all around. So once I get to the side front, I'll go ahead and leave the allowance I left on the main bodies at that area. Every other part will remain half an inch. So the next thing I'll be doing is to go ahead and use my chalk to mark that line that I opened up. I'll use my chalk to mark it so as to indicate. So I'm cutting out another piece that I'll be using to turn my jacket as the lining. So I'll have four pieces of that jacket part. So I'm done um, cutting, so I'll go ahead to make the line that I traced out very visible. I'll go ahead to make it visible. So uh, as you can see, I hope you can see the line on my fabric. So I'll go ahead to open up the line on both, uh, on all the four pieces that I cut. On all the four pieces that I cut. So you can see the way I folded it to cut. So I'll go ahead and cut the line to reach the point where it ought to reach. Just like that. And I won't be leaving any, I won't be cutting out any allowance. But when I want to sew, I'll just create a box to sew around that part. So this is my lapé. I'll be making it on another fabric to cut. And I'll be folding into four so that I can have four pieces. That's including the lining. So I'll, I'll be adding half an inch allowance all round. So yeah, all my pattern for the front, all the things I need for the front, my side front, my center front, my lape and the bolero jacket itself. And that's the back pattern that I've gone ahead to cut just like that. 
So the next thing I want to do for the back, as you can see, I want the loop to come around that uh, yoke area. So I'm going to have to mark where my loop will be coming in. So I'll just go ahead to sew on the areas where my loop will be coming in on that paper so that they can be together. So once I'm done attaching, pinning down my loop to um, my piece of paper, I'll go ahead and stitch on it and I'll just go ahead and tear away from the paper. I feel that way to be accurate. The um, each um, hole you create to be accurate. So the next thing I'll just go ahead to do is to place my loop in between my lining and the main fabric. I'll go ahead and place it in between my lining and the main fabric properly, and then I'll just close up. So I'll just go ahead and stitch around the areas I'm showing you, and that's all. Oh, yes, the two yoke. I'm gonna have to stitch around those areas and I'll go ahead to notch and also open up to the other side and give it a good press. So, this is it. This is what the front, this is what the other side of the back looks like. So, I'll put it aside. So, this is my bolero jacket part two. I'll go ahead to place um, the lining part and the main fabric on each other. And what I'm just doing is just to mark like 0 0.25 inches all around the main line hope you can see that i'm going to, to mark 0 point or you can do half an inch around the main line i drew so i've gone ahead to stitch around those area and i'll just walk my way through to notch triangularly just like that i hope you can see that I'm gonna have to stitch like a box around that main center line. Then what I'm just doing is to notch triangularly towards the end of the box I created. So you can see the line. So I'll go ahead and push uh, my lining part inside just so that I can turn it to the front. So as you can see, this is what the front part of the bolero jacket looks like. This is what it looks like. So the next thing I want to do is to go ahead and turn that front part with half an inch. I'll go ahead and turn that front part with half an inch just like that. I'm trying to push it in so that I can have my way sewing the front part. So I'm, I'm going to have to sew the front part. What I'm doing now is to notch all around that front part of my jacket. That's the coffee part of my jacket so, uh, so that it can lay well. So once I'm done notching, I'll go ahead and bring it out so that you can see what it looks like. So, and this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. I've turned the front, I've turned the line where my lapel will be coming through. So, this is for the back pattern. I'll just go ahead to sew up the dart for the back so i'm going ahead to pin that part that i notched at my back and i'll go ahead to measure the dot i have on my pattern and i also add half an inch i added down for sewing allowance so everything totaled up i just go ahead to mark my dot on my fabric just like that and then i'll sew i'll do that on every piece of my back pattern the lining and the main fabric and then I'll show you what to do next. So I'm done sewing my darts. And uh, this is the upper part, the yoke. So all I need to do is just to go ahead and place my yoke before the 2 inches allowance. And that I'll be doing. I hope you can see that. So I'll go ahead now and place my yoke and then I'll sew it all up just like, just like that. Using half an inch allowance, the allowance I left. So I'm done attaching my yoke. So here's my front pattern and I'll just go ahead to join um, the both sides to the same center front. Just like that using half an inch. And I will show you what it looks like. 
so this is it i'm done joining it as you can see so the next thing you want to do is just to give it a good press and iron open and i've done the same thing to the lining also so the next thing i want to do is just to go ahead and um, turn the neck area i'll also be turning the both sides of my lape just the sides of my lape just like that the both side with half an inch that i added and then i'll bring it out from that upper part so i'm done ironing and securing the neck this is what the inside looks like i hope you can see that and that is what the outside looks like so the next thing i want to do is to place my lape on top of my main fabric i'm gonna have to iron up my lape and sew it also so the next thing i want to do now is to mark that point where um, my lape will be coming into the bolero just like that i hope you can see that that mark we marked so i'll go ahead and mark it on the lape area that is where my um lape is going into the bolero so i'll go ahead and mark that line on my lape with my chalk just watch what i'll be doing as you can see i'm going ahead to mark on the line where the lapel will be going into the bolero so the next thing i want to do is to go ahead and place my lapel properly on my main fabric and once i'm done placing on my main fabric i'll just go ahead and stitch directly on the lapel and together with my main fabric and i will stop on that line i'll stop on that line and then you see what it looks like now so I'm gonna have to stitch with using tiny stitch and look at where my stitch end, just like that. So the next thing I want to do is to insert my lape into the bolero jacket. I hope you can see that I will pass my lape into that um, line that I into the bolero jacket and then I'll place it properly. so i hope you can see it here very well so the next thing i want to do is just to secure my bolero to the um main fabric not to the lining now to the main fabric and now as you can see i'm gonna have to secure the lapel to the main fabric not to the lining and also i've secured the um bolero jacket to the main fabric to become one so the next thing i want to do is to turn the neckline as you can see that upper part i'll be using half an inch to turn the neckline of my front i'll do the same thing on both sides and i will show you what it looks like so i also turn the neck of my back pattern too i also turn the neck of my back pattern remember the reason why the neck of my front is shorter is because we made an opening at the front that's why the neck is looking um shorter compared to the back so i'm gonna have to stitch using um half an inch for my neck and for the front and for the back and as you can see this is what it looks like i've turned the neck area that's the built up neck i've turned the built up neck area so i'm left with my shoulder now i'm left with my shoulder So I've also turned the neck of the back too, and this is what it looked like at the front. So I'm left with my shoulder. I'm left with my shoulder. So now I left half an inch around the neck area, such that it won't be. It will be easy for me to join the shoulder. So it is true that half inch I will join, I will use to match the front and the back together and then I will sew up the shoulder. So this is what it looks like. I just want to place it so that you can have a vivid understanding of what I was explaining. So 
at that point you can see at that point i'll join the both shoulder together and here using my half an inch so i'll just pin it up like that and then i will join the lining shoulder to the the lining of the front to the lining of the back and i'll also join the main fabric of the front to the main fabric of the back just like that so i'm gonna add to stitch and this is what it looks like joining the shoulder i will turn it to the front for you to see what it looks like so i'm done joining the shoulder part as you can see and this is what it looks like just go ahead and nudge every part that is not relaxing so this is everything about how to join um the bolero to um the main fabric with the lape thank you for watching if you have any question feel free to drop in the comment section and i will attend to all questions go ahead and give your um, neck area and shoulder area a good press as you can see it is now laying very flat after i've given it a good press so the next thing i want to do is just go ahead and attach to my skirt bodies and my gown is ready thank you for watching and do not forget to hit the subscribe button below and please give this video a thumbs up as this will encourage me to continue to make good good content see you in our next tutorial